Hi, we're here doing a welcome for um, the SAT. My name's Steve, and what we're doing is we're choosing really difficult words. Uh, you will no longer use in your vocabulary, oh, that was a great movie, it was really good, or it was bad, it was a really terrible movie. You're not going to use those kind of words because you've got to find a synonym. We're also going to be talking about how um, many of us who don't like math, it's because we've been taught a very strange vocabulary, so we're going to talk about the vocabulary, new vocabulary, okay, new vocabulary. And there's this part called the essay. Uh, who just loves writing essays? Loves essays, good, okay. Then this message is not for you. The people who hate essays, that's like people like me, I'd rather be reading something or I'll go out and you know, watch some TV, I'd rather do that. Or play some football, I'd rather do that. Um, I found out that if we can write about something we really love, if you can write about something you're, you're, you're passionate about, it's a lot easier because you start explaining to someone, look, U.S. football is so much better than that thing they play over in Europe or Japan, okay? You know, that might be something you really believe. Or, you know, you can take the other side. If you can learn how to explain your point of view, um, that is the key to the essay. Usually, most of us have been told that there's like a keyhole. I don't know if you've heard the keyhole theory. No. No. Um, what are the parts of an essay? What do you start with? Introduction. Oh, you got an introduction. And then what do you do? Body, body. Oh, and what's in the body? Fluff. What's that? Fluff. Fluff. Okay, so you put fluff. What's in the fluff? Details. And how many do they usually tell you? Two or, two or three. Two or three details. And what do you do at the end? Oh, it's sort of like, I'm going to tell you what I will tell you, then I'll tell you, and then I'll tell you what I told you. I mean, who writes like that? And that's the, the whole point. Most of us, when we're in high school, we do not read the newspaper. And it, it's, you know, I can understand why, because you can get stuff off of the Internet or off of uh, TV a lot faster. You can pull the interesting stuff off of radio. But the important thing here is, if you read a columnist, they do not use the structure. They, sure, they have something to introduce it, and yeah, they do have details, and they do have uh, a conclusion, but you don't notice it. I mean, usually, somebody ends with finally, or in conclusion, or, you know, first, second, third, you know. You can do that, and yeah, you can get, that's the basic thing that most people look for, for in an essay. But what this course is, based on is, yes, you can follow this structure. I'm suggesting that you can find your own method if you are persuasive. If you're really trying not to choose a subject, let's say, that um, you have to write about, but choose something that you really want to. Now, how many people here have way too much homework right now? Come on, keep, keep, raise your hands. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so there's no homework for this class, okay? Um, basically, what I'm saying is that it's... How, how many of you are taking the test in October? Okay. Or are you doing it in January? So some people in January, January, January? Okay. For the people who are taking it very soon, there's not a lot you can do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll just be very honest with you, because the techniques mentioned in these books are, what, what do you think happens if you take a test ten times? You get better. Why do you get better? Memorizing answers. No. It's not memorizing answers so much. You learn the style. You know the structure of the test. You learn from mistakes. Yeah, you, probably, if you went back, there's a certain amount of I know how to fill in a bubble really fast. This has been proven. If you exercise quickly writing down a little bubble, you begin to see, oh, this is the kind of thing. And so that's why 
we like to say, do every test. Every problem, look at every problem. I'm not saying you have to do all of the reading, but certainly for the math, if you're trying to boost your math score, there are five basic types of math problems. And there's a limited number of math. If you have a short amount of time, and a lot, yes, come on in, come on in, that's all right, have a seat, no problem, have a great seat. The basic problem that most people have with math is that it has never really been taught to you in a normal way. They, they have their own vocabulary, and they don't relate it to the real world for most people. Now, if you're really good with math, forget everything I'm saying, okay? Because I'm trying to reach the people who hate math, okay? In fact, if you're really good at math right now, you should be doing the last two problems throughout the book. And remember, in each test, let's say that there are... I, I think you guys do seven tests when you sit down. Who's, who's done the SAT recently? Yeah, how, how, about, how long did you have to sit? Four hours. Yeah, about four hours. And you, you had to do the writing of the essay, okay? And then you had, what, like three math and four English or something like that? Ten sections. Ten, a lot of sections, right, yeah. What's the camera for? It's for me, and it's for the people who couldn't attend, so I'm going to be putting it on YouTube. So, yeah, you know. Well, why not, you know? Just put it out there. Because basically this is about a 15-minute presentation, and then you, you we're going to go and apply. You guys know about YouTube, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. See me afterwards. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, so a typical SAT, there you're paying to, for them to collect information from you. On one of these tests, it does not count towards your final grade. And you don't know which one it is. That's just the way it goes. I went through this. I paid for the opportunity to prepare and sort of show them what sort of new questions. Typically, you'll find out if you had like uh, four math sections and three English, one of those math sections was extra. Okay? And you don't know which one of them was, but they had some extra questions in there that don't count towards your final grade. Why, why would they do that? Because they want to test, if you got a 650 in math and you got all of the problems right in one section, oh boy, they're going to have to change some of those questions. See? So you should be failing uh, like about eight of the questions if you're getting 650. And so if you're getting them all right, they have to adjust something. So it's part of their method of maintaining and doing some testing on a lot of people. So, what you're doing for the four hours is you're pacing yourself. That was one of the tips. Within each section, you have to, what, go nice and slowly, you know, for the math, for instance. How much time should you be spending? A minute. A minute. Okay. Um, so, let's say you've got 30 minutes and you've got, I don't know, 35 questions. Right? Or maybe sometimes they have like 30 minutes and 25 questions, something like this. You've heard about easy, medium, and hard? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wh what's the structure usually look like? 